So I just got finished watching a video by this dude, Alpha Omega Sin, on YouTube. Um, it's like an 11 minute rant about how SJWs are ruining the entertainment industry and comics industry and video games industry. And honestly, at this point, I just feel like, oh, hey, it's another video of some dude getting really offended at other people getting possibly offended or criticizing content. I see it a lot, like way too much these days. Like I feel like every time nowadays when someone says, hey, this thing's kind of shitty, if it's not something that is deemed okay to criticize or an actual valid criticism, it's, oh, no, shut up, stop trying to control artists, and da 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 Like, he rants for a good five minutes, at least, about, back and forth, about how this is, these are people going on the internet and tapping away at their phones, and they're clicktivists, they're not real activists, and they're trying to, they're, they're, they're getting artists to, like, stifle themselves, or stifle their creativity, and that's the telltale comment of someone who either can't deal with criticism or can't deal with what people might deem as a criticism or have or deem as a problem because you just in your frame of mind can't fucking see it. He talks about how pe- uh, he talks about like an un- a not valid problem being like when people comment on scantily clad women in games or comics or the clothing they wear and how that's just like inventing a problem when honestly it's just a criticism. It's it's a criticism of poor design. And any any artist, any good artist, knows that criticism is a core part of your development as an artist. And we all as artists have to tally in our brains what's good criticism and what's criticism we could ignore. The problem is you get some artists who start putting way too much in the, no, I can just ignore that, and they start to stagnate. Or they just turn into complete fucking assholes for no reason. (coughs) (coughs) Shit. And he talks about how this is just like... These are people that... He he insinuates that these people, these SJWs that are making these complaints and how offended they are... He insinuates that these are people who don't even like the content and that they shouldn't speak based on the fact that he's saying that they don't like the content, which, I mean, I just think that's a little bit ignorant to assume that just because someone criticizes something in media or in a specific media means that they don't actually care about it or that they don't like it. I mean, honestly, if you're criticizing something, usually it's coming from a place of you want to see it be better, and that means you care about it. But no, he's saying that all these people who make these complaints are all just this one type of person who are inventing problems and don't actually want to fix anything. They just want to complain and be cool or something. Which, yeah, you do get those people on the internet. It's the fucking internet. But and you, but to say that everyone that you, that most people typically funnel into this amazing internet subcategory of SJW as these people... I don't know, it just seems a little short-sighted, I guess. Like, like he talks about, like, oh, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. Or if you don't, if you don't like this thing about it, don't pay for it. That's your biggest vote. I mean, yeah, not spending money on something is a pretty decent way of being like, oh, I don't like that. But who the fuck are you to tell someone, don't talk bad about that? Because that's what I get from this video. He talks a lot about, like, he basically says in so many words, like, keep your mouth shut if you don't like this thing that I like. Because I'm right and you're wrong, and my opinion's more valid. I mean, maybe that's not what he's trying to say, but that's what I'm getting from it. And that's what I get from a lot of these videos that go online. That go like, oh, oh, uh, how dare they try to censor people. No, nobody's getting censored. It's like when, it's like, uh, he brings up the fucking... He brings up the fucking Joker cover for Batgirl, where Joker is holding Batgirl around the arm, and it's a tribute to Killing Joke, and... It's a pretty unnecessarily over-the-top cover. I mean, granted, I actually like the art of it, and I like the idea behind it, but it, it was unnecessary. And one person, I, if I remember correctly, made a very small comment of like, you know, I mean, this is kind of, this could be kind of shitty. I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. 
people freaked the fuck out at this person. Nerds across the fucking land started tweeting at this person and being like, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, how dare you criticize the thing, blah, blah, blah. Got to a point where the, the person who actually had the creative control stepped in and said, and, and decided to change it. And then when they changed it, people then lost it even more and got offended at, like, how could they change this? There's nothing wrong with it. This is the SJWs ruining our media and corporations kowtowing to the whims of people based on problems that don't really exist. And then the person who actually had creative control themselves had to step in and say, hey, we didn't change it because of the content. We changed it on our own because half the content and half the fact that it didn't even have anything to do with the issue in question. So not only is it possibly something that could, quote unquote, offend someone, but it's also something that's irrelevant. So it's not even, doesn't even have a purpose. It doesn't even serve a purpose as a cover for this issue or whatever. But no, but he says, he brings this up as a whole key point to like, oh, this is an example of how social justice warriors are ruining things. As if, I mean, Jim Sterling made a really, really good video once. I think he's talked about the issue many, many times about how the differences between censorship and editing. And I think that's the key thing. I'm going to link it in uh, the description here. There's a key difference between editing and censorship. Censorship is a separate group grabbing an artist's hand or grabbing a thing and saying, you can't do that, no, you cannot, and taking the, uh, the, their right to do what they want with it away. Editing is an artist looking at feedback, or not even feedback, but just looking at their work themselves and going, you know what, I want to change this and changing it. And that is okay because that is an artist's choice. And that's another thing I see is when I see artists and creatives responding to criticism like, oh, I, I had something. I don't want to just use the example that Jim Sterling used. Um... I mean, I already used an example of the Joker cover where an artist chose, oh, I'm going to change this, and everyone lost their minds. Oh, actually, I do have a good example. Um, when when um, someone emailed the guys from Two Best Friends Play about how they um, were kind of bothered by the fact that they use the word uh, retarded a lot. And how, you know, it's, it's, it's an ableist slur. And that if they could, they could they please not use it from now on because it's just, it's an unnecessarily, an unnecessary shitty word. And the Zabatsu responded to this basically going, if I remember correctly, um, might have been Pat that said something back originally. But either way, um, someone was like, oh yeah, you know, sorry, um, we'll do our best not to do that. And I think there was, and then there was another time when, when... Um, someone said, hey, could you... Oh, there was a meme going around in the Best Friends fandom about uh, the, the uh, character from the Berserk comic who is a horse that tends to try and have sex with characters against their will. It's a trope that shows up a few times in the actual manga. And anyone who's read the manga can be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's funny because it's that thing I recognize. But people who aren't familiar with it are going to hear the term like rape horse and they're going to go, oh, that's fucked up. And someone said, hey, you know, people are taking this a little too far. Could you guys cool off on it? And then Pat was like, oh yeah, um, sorry guys, that's mostly my bad. I'll try to tone back on it. And Matt was like, oh yeah, guys, that's our bad. Sorry. Then someone in the fandom got really mad and reblogged and saying how he's so upset that the, well, I don't know if they're a he, but they were really upset at how, like, the, P the PC police are at it again. And these are, like, people kowtowing to this. And that's exactly the kind of thing that I see and think of when I see videos like the one Alpha Omega Sin made. I don't think of someone who really wants to stand up for creatives and tell them that they have a right to make content they want to make. I see someone who either at some point or got so fed up with hearing criticisms of their content or other people's content that they decided I'm going to make this shitty fucking video about how horrible it is that what artists are going through and how they're being censored and shit. And honestly, as a writer and a creative, that fucking offends me. It offends me to see other creators so ready to just be like, no, tune out, tune out that criticism. It's not real criticism. And no, you can't do that. You can't just tune out criticism. Because that's how you stagnate as an artist. I'm not going to drop names, 
but like there's so many artists that when they stop li- trying to improve and they stagnate that's the worst thing an artist can do because it's not even it's not even a matter of like oh I'm like actively trying to be bad or something it's you're so against just being open to try to improve like he says in his video oh I'm um, just you know just don't listen to them make more of the same content that offends them quote unquote and I'm like I mean, it depends on what you're trying to make, but from the standpoint that I'm getting that you're standing on, it doesn't seem like you're saying that to be like, oh, yeah, make the content needs to be made. It's like, oh, don't listen to any criticism. Just keep doing it and and only listen to the good things. I mean, if I remember correctly, that's that's an echo drone? Is echo drone the word for that? I can't remember off the time, man. I can't check. I can't check definitions on my fucking phone while I'm recording this. But I mean, either way, it's just. I don't know. I just feel like it's just. I've gotten to a point where I've seen so many people make these posts and these videos and these like, oh, I'm so horribly offended at people getting offended or not being offended the right way, or criticizing things that I don't deem as actual problem, therefore they're inventing problems, and being so quick to be like, oh, and they try to gain attention, and they try to do this and that, and it's just... I mean, honestly, it's like a 10-year-old just yelling into a camera for 11 minutes about how, like, oh, the mean, the mean, the mean, the mean old SJW said some shit again, and now they're, now they're ruining... Now they're ruining my fucking time. They won't give me my toys or some shit like that. It's just fucking... It's just fucking childish. And that's... I don't know. I, just, I don't feel like I can put it in any other better way. It's like a fucking... It's like watching a toddler. It's, it's childish. It's truly childish. You know what I mean? I take it back, honestly, because even children have a better grasp of, like being able to have basic empathy for people and listen to criticism and improve as human beings. I mean, God. Whatever.